It's Randall. Your son, Randall. From This Is Us to True Detective, makeup and hair pros have perfected their craft of adding or taking away years from the small screen's biggest stars. With the Emmy nominations announcement quickly approaching, here are a few makeup and hairstyling teams who hope to receive recognition for aging up or down their actors. Over on the NBC drama This Is Us, some characters range in age from 16 to 80. Custom-made prosthetic pieces help streamline the process, but each season comes with new challenges. Season 3 introduced Mandy Moore's Rebecca as an 80-year-old hospice patient. Well, Milo Ventimiglia's Jack spent an episode as a young Vietnam War soldier. The head of hair on the show, Michael Wrights, revealed, We had to cut Milo's hair for Vietnam, so he's wearing a wig in most of the season this year. It doesn't look like we really did anything, but as an artist, you're always stressed until you see it being convincing. Because it's not magic. It's still gluing hair to someone's head and hoping it looks good. Meanwhile, for season three of HBO's True Detective, the hair and makeup team were all tasked with taking Mahershala Ali and Stephen Dorff through storylines that alternated from 1980 to 1990 and 2015. Now, to determine how the characters should appear in their 80s, the hair and makeup pros had to interpret how lifestyle would affect their aging. Prosthetic makeup designer Michael Marino said, True Detective was two super stressed out police officers who both smoked and drank. I knew that we could get away with making them a little craggy. My whole brain's a bunch of missing pieces. Did you think you could just go on and never once have to look back? And while prosthetics are commonly used for aging, over on Hulu's The Act, Patricia Arquette's makeup artist Amanda Carroll decided to avoid them in crafting Dee Dee Blanchard. She said, I felt that we could create the look that we wanted by hand. I needed to be able to easily switch makeup looks without holding up production, so I actually went back to old school ways. Highlight and shadow, stippling, a little red pencil, trying to give that really not so well look around her eyes. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions, all right? Can you read? For much more on how some of TV's top hair and makeup pros transform Hollywood's biggest stars, head to THR.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.